Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Dino and yeah, we back with another video. Got some crazy clips from all over the world like always. You know what it is. If you're new to the channel, I hope you hang out for a bit. If you like it around here, hit that like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment to help boost our community in the algorithm and get us going a little bit quicker. Anyways, I hope everyone's doing well. Let's hop right into it. approach manifestation through a completely new perspective. So what's going on here? This is a platform and on the platform is sand and the platform is hooked up to an audio device that raises the frequency or raises the hertz and as the hertz raise the sand produces different shapes and as the vibration raises the shapes become more and more complex and more beautiful. This is literally what happens when you raise your vibration. This is what happens to the physical anatomy of your life on an atomic level. When you use your thoughts and your emotions to change your quantum state and your quantum field, the physical anatomy and the structure of your life, everything that makes up your life, will change just like the sand on this platform changes and becomes more beautiful and more complex as the vibration rises. So there are lots of ways to change your vibration and to raise your frequency. And in my book, Alchemy of Imagination, I go over lots of different techniques on visualization, manifestation, and all of that. But if you want to know the quickest and easiest way to raise your vibration, it's appreciation and gratitude. And unlike regular manifestation where you have to put some effort in your thoughts and your emotions, with gratitude, no work needs to be done because your life will change and become a vibrational match to what you want, just like the sand on that platform changed as the frequency rose. So if you want to be able to change your entire life and quantum leap, it goes beyond just manifesting. It's really about raising your vibration. And this is literal physical proof that when you change the vibration and when you raise it, the physical anatomy of what's happening in your life will change. It is truly magical. So let's all quantum leap together. Yo, I like that. We're hopping into some heavy stuff right off the rip. I've always liked the whole theory of uh, vibrations and sound uh, and different hertz uh, containing and manifesting different things and creating different physical forms, things like that. I've always found that super cool. I used to watch exactly these videos that he was showing um, when they were new. I've always found it really cool. Look, man. Let's just say the power grid goes out, okay? I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. I know. I just don't know when it's gonna happen. Meaning, is it gonna be in 2024 during the election year? Because they're scared shitless that Trump could actually win. Is it gonna be next five years, 10 years, 15 years? I believe it's gonna happen. You best just do whatever you can to be ready for it. Some people are maybe saying, well, I don't have the kind of money. You guys got the money and da 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 da. This isn't about money. There's ways of preparing in different ways based on the kind of resources you got. Protect your family. How do you do it? You have to do a little bit of research, a little bit of studying for yourself to find out if that were to happen. Do you have a small generator do you have certain things set aside what method of payment will you use if you don't have any cash or if you don't have what other things do you have to protect your family i do believe it is something we're talking about with your family to be prepared for this because i think something like this is going to happen next 5 10 15 20 years and by the way i do believe it's going to be worse than covid because at least with covid you can stay home still communicate with others with this you stay home your internet security gates lights it's mayhem everything's gone so what do you do you just got to be prepared um, yeah, no, preparation is always a good thing. You should just go ahead and teach preparation to your family members and your children either way. Bar, did you see what she said today? She said she doesn't see a 2024 election even happening in the United States. I don't think we're going to have no election. You want to bet money? I'll bet. How much? I'll bet big. I don't think we're going to have a no election. A thousand dollars. All right. Shake hands. I did not want to hear that. I mean, it's possible because if Russia does technically declare war or we declare war, then he can stay in. Right. He could know. declare martial law or you could literally go into the War Powers Act, which then takes him out of the occasion. And then you have an entire emergency set up right now. Moving on. Hollywood is completely closed for business. Members of the Screen Actors Guild voted to go on strike today after failing to reach a deal with major studios. There's something really unbelievable going on in Hollywood right now. 
We stand in solidarity. This is not it. We had no choice. We are the victims here. Actors are being replaced by AI, and they're being told to come in for a one-time scan, and their likeness will be used from there on without pay. It can be used for eternity. AI has officially taken over the entire world. It's all turning into one big episode of Black Mirror, it seems. Yep. The main sticking points include safeguards for the use of AI along with pay and residuals for streaming shows. Netflix alone has more than 230 million subscribers. Today, Disney CEO Bob Iger weighed in. There's a level of expectation that they have that is just not realistic. And they are adding to a set of challenges that this business is already facing. It's going to be real hard to tell the difference between AI generations and human created stuff and what's real and what's not. I'm telling you now. One, you're kind of the home of, I think, what every YouTuber fears, right? Yeah. Yeah. The decline. You went from, if I'm not mistaken, millionaire, correct? A technical I was, millionaire. I was close. I was really, really close. At one point, I had, and I mean like for two days, when yeah. I say close, for two days, I had about $780,000, $800,000 in crypto. Mm -hmm. Went to bed one night, and it was worth half that when I woke up. What were you in? So here's my biggest regret. I originally invested in Ethereum. And this was based on a few friends becoming Ethereum millionaires. And I had like an initial investment of about $200,000. Put it in and then it fell for the first time. Yeah. And like 200,000 went down to like 80. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't really need the money right now. I'm making money. I can live off How of that. How much were you making? 10 to 15,000, I think. A month? Yeah, in a month. Right. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, it was incredible wealth. Eventually, that crypto went up to past my investment point. If I held on to my Ethereum right now, if I had never needed to dip into it and I had not Another gambled on stupid altcoins, I no probably have about 1.5 million in Ethereum well, right now. Even, even still, like, I don't even... Yeah. Okay, what year was that? What year was that? The initial investment happened in 2019. No, 2000, 2019. Yeah. Okay, how much did you put into Ethereum? 200,000. 200,000 in 2018. The initial investment was in 2018. Okay. And, and then the first market crash. 2018. Let's yeah. say you put it at the beginning. S&P 500 was worth 271. Now it's worth 458. It would have almost doubled. Almost doubled. To if I put in like traditional stocks or and traditional. Just the S&P 500 just following the market in general. Yep. This, was there not a single person surrounding you? Was there not a single person just in your YouTube circle, in the family circle, who's like, dude, I had the you're opposite. making money. I had the opposite. I had people telling me. You should invest in crypto. No. Everybody I knew was everyone investing. you knew. Every all of my YouTuber friends, uh, my juggernaut kid behind the camera, all these people. Oh, come like, on. look, I made millions from crypto. I made millions from crypto. Nobody was telling me that it was too late in the game. Nobody was telling me that I bought crypto. I brought Ethereum at thirty there bucks. It was too late in the game. It wasn't even too late in the game. It's just like crypto's man, a gamble. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, a sort of a gamble. It's like, I, I hardly consider it an investment versus like traditional. Okay, okay. So, I mean, not to make any excuses, but keep in mind. I didn't come from money. I'm I'm the son of a coal miner, right? Okay. And so no one in my life was ever trying to teach me what to do with it's money true. or how to do any, with money. So somebody comes along and they're like, look, I took my initial million yes. and I turned it into 20 million. Yeah. You should do that too. And you believed him. Man, no wonder he fell off so hard, man. Polling data shows that fewer Americans than ever are extremely proud to be American. As according to Gallup, 38% of U.S. adults say they are extremely proud to be American. That is the lowest in Gallup's trend that began in 2001. 65% of U.S. adults express pride in the nation overall. I don't know how you can't be proud to be American. This country is unbelievable. This country is God's gift to planet Earth, this country. Anybody who pretends otherwise, frankly, should leave. There's a reason that people are clamoring to get in and have spent centuries clamoring to get in. There's a reason why the United States is still the world leader. It's still the moral beacon. I'm proud to be American. And I think the president stinks. I think the Congress stinks until five seconds ago, I thought the Supreme Court stank. None of that has to do with the fundamental principles of the United States, which are inherently good. Speak it, bro. Speak it. I think what happened on October 7th was an absolute atrocity, was a thousand atrocities. Uh, I think at the same time we condemn those atrocities, we have to condemn the atrocities that happen every day to Palestinians in the West Bank. You mentioned sexual violence. Uh, I was part of the human rights vetting process for arms going to Israel and a charity called Defense of Children International Palestine uh, drew our attention at the State Department 
rape of a 13-year-old boy that occurred in an Israeli prison in the Mosque Bia in Jerusalem. Uh, we examined these allegations. Uh, we believe they were credible. We put them to, Israel, to uh, the government of Israel. And you know what happened the next day? The IDF went into the DCIP offices and removed all their computers and declared them a terrorist entity. Um, I think it is vital that atrocities not happen to anyone, not sexual, not sexual violations, not any kind of gross violation of human rights. We are looking at a situation where there is so much dehumanification, where people are not seen for the value that they have. And I think that's true whether you're talking about those who are attacked on their kibbutz or those who are attacked in their homes in Gaza or in the West Bank. What we really need is to center the human beings who are at the core uh, and who are suffering so much uh, in, in this conflict. Mm -mm -mm. That's a heavy subject. Well, an Alabama man on death row is set to be the first American to die tonight by nitrogen gas. He's making a last ditch appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court, too. Kenneth Smith is scheduled for execution at 7 p.m. The prison says he was not able to be executed a year ago by lethal injection because the executioners couldn't find a vein. But come tonight, through this untested method, Mr. Smith will be fit, fitted rather with a mask and administered a flow of nitrogen gas, effectively de depriving him of oxygen until he dies. Well, it has never been tested as a method of execution in the United States. There is some uh, uh, evidence, anecdotal evidence, that it has been used in Europe um, for assisted suicide. So there's some documentation of cases where human beings have ingested this um, this gas. Death penalty advocates and Mr. Smith's attorney attorneys in this case uh, say that it, it could amount to cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah, that, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And is that true about Europe? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Yo, that was super cool, man. The only color that like I could recognize and that I would be able to recognize once you get so deep is orange and pink. Those are the only two colors I'd be like, yeah, that's orange and that's pink. That's really cool, man. Judge, sorry, legacy. That's you, bro, mate. Potassium bromate? This supermarket is trying to kill us! You! Potassium bromate, do you know what that is? Are you okay, sir? It is known to induce renal cell tumors, mesotheliomas of the peritoneum. Can I call someone for you? Or? Call someone. You know what? You know what you're putting into our bodies? Death! Delicious strawberry flavored death! <laughs> Delicious strawberry flavored death! <laughs> what? That's crazy. <laughs> it's true, though. 
you should read what's on your food. Like, really. Lawmakers are threatening a government shutdown unless Biden and the Senate Democrats agree to secure the southern border. This comes as a funding bill for the border was delayed with GOP lawmakers fed up with the migrant surge hitting record highs. One of those lawmakers joins us now. He's Texas Representative Chip Roy. Congressman, great to have you on the show this morning. Let's talk about this showdown. First of all, it's House versus Senate in a way. The Senate seems to want to wrap up any type of border security in a much larger package. You guys want to advance H.R. 2 and uh, directly address what's happening at our southern border. Is it going to come down to a government shutdown? Well, good morning. Well, good to be on. Uh, you, know, you grew up in Texas, Sherman, if I have it correct. And so you understand what we're facing down in Texas in terms of the impact on our communities. The uh, I had six kids who died from fentanyl poisoning in Hayes County, just southwest of Austin, Texas, last year alone. Uh, we're sick of it. We're fed up. Uh, the Biden administration, they're going to court to sue to try to stop Greg Abbott from cutting the razor wire or from uh, using our laws to deport people and be able to protect our communities. So, you know, I'm tired of all the games. And, you know, like in Washington, uh, that's what we're getting out of the Senate, right? They want to go try to cut a deal to get more money for Ukraine. We're not interested in that. We want to do our job to force the Biden administration to the table. So to answer your question, yes, uh, the people of Texas are telling me very bluntly, uh, you know, make sure that Biden understands he's either going to shut down the border or he's going to have to choose to shut down the government. But it'll be on him. Uh, it's our job in Congress to use the power of the purse to stop it. And if we won't do that, we're just going to get more of the same, which means another 750,000 encounters over the next three months like we got over the first three months of this calendar year. So it's time to stop it. It's time to end it. Yeah, it's time to stop it. It's time to end it, Biden. What are you doing, man? This happened. I'm sorry. What is that? There's a passenger on the plane, uh, looks out the window, grabs the phone. This was filmed in June. The traveler sees that, an object apparently changing shapes in what? seconds. What? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Is it a shape-shifting object? Is it Bezos? Is it Branson? What is it? Is it a UFO? Mel, go for it. I, what do you see? I yeah. have no... Okay, I'm looking at this for the yeah, first time. Yeah, I don't know. That's speak. pretty Whoa. wild. What was that? that? No way. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. So... No, man. I don't... That could be anything. Honestly, here's the thing. Like, I, I, I don't know what that could be. Hmm. What do y'all think that was? It was pretty cool. And it did change shapes. Quite a few times. We were both invited to an Illuminati thing, and it had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And the next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were gonna pay him 10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. Mm. One of those persons turned out to be ludicrous, and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. <laughs> now, one person ended up with a light-skinned, ugly-faced wife that's never done a... Remember I told you that if I say that, it'll Bruh. apply to seven people? Yeah. <laughs> it's part of what they give you. You wild, Cat. But first, some breaking news in Queens tonight. The NYPD is shutting down sex trafficking operations in and around Roosevelt Avenue. Yeah, residents and businesses have long complained about open air prostitution happening at all hours of the day and night. But they vow now to shut it down once and for all. Anthony Lorenzo, he's live for us in Jackson Heights. We'll look at how all of this went down. Anthony. Well, as we speak, the sex trade here on Roosevelt Island is in the process of being shut down. The mayor and the police department hope this is once and for all. You can see police station here right outside this location on Roosevelt Avenue. They busted down the door a few hours ago, are in the process of looking inside, collecting evidence. And as you can see, the order on the door says it is closed by court order. We can show you a video from earlier this afternoon. This is a look from when those officers broke the glass door to this business here on Roosevelt Avenue, the 9,000 block. And once they went inside, they say they found a disturbing sight. Prostitution, sex trafficking, and beds where gentlemen would come in 
and have sex with women inside of this location. This was happening at all hours of the day, not only here, but several locations all across here, which is why they simultaneously executed uh, these warrants and closed down at least a half dozen shops in and around Roosevelt Avenue. This is something that residents and businesses here have been long complaining about for at least a year, maybe longer. The mayor getting an earful at a recent town hall in Corona, uh, complaining that women are outside uh, soliciting sex and taking men inside by the arm, uh, asking them to offer money and then pay for these sexual acts inside of these locations, which has ruined business and people live here. The mayor was on site today, seeing this whole operation come to fruition. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good, get them out of here. If you don't know, this is Baba Vanga. She was blinded by a dust storm at the age of 12 and claims this is when she got her second sight for the world. Following this, she proceeded to predict future events with an 85% accuracy, including many that happened in 2023. The first thing she predicted for 2024 is there will be a rise in cyber attacks which will target crucial infrastructure like power grids and water treatment plants, posing a national security threat. Following this, she claimed there will be an increased amount of terrorist attacks in Europe and there will be an assassination attempt on Russia's leader. Now she also predicted in 2024 that there will be a huge economic crisis due to the increase of debt levels and global tensions among nations. Finally, Baba Vanga also stated that there will be a huge medical breakthrough like the cure for Alzheimer's and the cure for cancer that will be invented this year of 2024. So what do you guys think about this? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Are they praying? It looks like they're praying. Ghost hunter Franco has captured something terrifying on his camera while exploring an allegedly haunted cemetery in Peru. A group of black dressed people can be seen around a grave chanting and performing some kind of ritual. Full of curiosity, Franco waits for the mysterious group to leap so he can investigate the site. But what he is about to find will send shivers down his spine. Like a voodoo doll. The scary night visitors have left behind what appears to be a voodoo doll, along with candles and other ritual objects. Franco realizes he has captured on his camera the members of a cult performing black magic around the grave. Well, don't touch the stuff, man, just to leave. What are you doing? Guys, can we speak about this new pandemic that's going on in England right now, yeah? Where none of us can sleep. I don't understand what it is. Bro, at first I said, oh, it's probably because I'm too hot. Maybe I'm wearing too many layers in bed. Took up a few layers. <laughs> Still can't sleep. Then I said, cool, okay, cool, that's not working. So let me try to play the alphabet game where I go A and all the way to Z when you name a country and a type of food. <laughs> Bro, I got to Z and I had more energy. Right? It's like my brain is tired but my body is not i just don't I just, it just doesn't make sense anymore like i'm tired but i can't sleep so look what i've resorted to like i haven't been sleeping until 6 a.m every single day since i've it, since it's been 2024 it's not 2024 for no sleep like what is going on guys comment what time you're seeing this and comment what time you're sleeping man this is ridiculous I don't know. Of a battle over whether individual states can take matters into their own hands when it comes to border security is now centered on a public park in South Texas. Members of the Texas National Guard have taken over the area and they're refusing orders from the Biden administration to let U.S. border agents in. National correspondent Mara Sirianni is tracking the story this morning for us. Hey, Mara, good morning. Yeah, guys, good morning to you. Tensions between Texas officials and the federal government are certainly uh, heating up once again. Troopers are now around arresting migrants for the first time since the state actually took control of that park um, last week. So here's a look at the area where this is all happening. The Texas National Guard um, now has taken over Shelby Park. You've probably heard us report about this area before. This is near the U.S.-Mexico border in the city of Eagle Pass, Texas. Uh, their troopers have also been refusing access to Border Patrol agents. Now, just before 11 o'clock last night, a spokesman with the Texas Department of Public Safety posting these images on X of migrants being handcuffed 
left and hauled off with the caption, quote, under the authority of Governor Greg Abbott's border disaster declaration, troopers are arresting illegal immigrants for criminal trespass at Shelby Park. He goes on to say troopers are enforcing criminal trespass on single adult men and women. The state of Texas will maintain a proactive posture in curbing illegal border crossings between the ports of entry, end quote. That was from Lieutenant Chris Oliveras, who explained further the arrests that they're making uh, are taking place on private land, he says, where the landowner granted the state authority to make said arrests. So this all comes on the heels of the Biden administration informing Texas state officials that they had until the end of the day yesterday to stop blocking U.S. Border Patrol agents access to a stretch of land that's about two and a half miles long. Again, it's along the border. That includes an area near Shelby Park where a woman and two children actually drowned sadly last week. Um, Texas uh, Attorney General Ken Paxton in a letter to Homeland Security kind of firing back here. He said the state plans to continue ignoring orders from the feds to cease and desist. State even put a fence up and has Texas National Guard members manning uh, a gate again, preventing Border Patrol agents from doing their job. So things again definitely heating up. The Biden administration says that border enforcement should be the job of the federal government. So the Justice Department again stepped in filing an injunction to get the Supreme Court uh, involved here hoping to get them to intervene and get federal agents back into that park while an appeals court um, ordered the agents to stop removing razor wire wire at least while these uh, legal challenges play out but uh, AG Paxton in his letter uh, last night firing back it was it was fiery though he said that officials in Texas will quote not surrender guys national correspondent Mario Sirianni thank you I'm going to try to keep you guys updated as much as I can on that situation. Again, like in the last video, let me know your thoughts on this situation. Listen up. People with common sense will understand this, so if you don't have that, keep scrolling. You don't even got to fact check me. I'm just stating the obvious. We are literally at war with our government, and it's been going on for the last few years. The average American don't believe it because they believe everything happened by coincidence. But people with common sense totally understand because they've been telling us a food shortage was going to happen. Then what happened? Food plants started burning down. Now you got all these accidents that happen that's burning all these harmful chemicals in the air. And what goes up must come down. A food shortage don't sound far away at all now. But some people actually think that we're really trying to make these conspiracies so we can scare people to follow us. When we're actually trying to warn you because if you don't listen to the warning, you won't have to deal with the destruction. And some of y'all are gonna realize when it's too late. But remember, at that time, it's gonna be too late. You live and you learn, but don't let this little mistake cost you your life. And remember, when the warning has come, the destruction is on its way. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I know it's gonna happen. Y'all be safe. Man's is speaking straight facts. Straight facts. You play dumb games, win dumb prizes. Scorpion? What in the world? The thing that comes out of the uh, smoke? Yeah. I'm not going to do the same thing. Is that like a scorpion? What is that, man? Chaos. Oh, that's a gator or a croc. Chaos is a ladder. He's big, too. That's what you get. It's an octopus tentacle. They're actually pretty cool, but they're strong. Never seen a snake fight in water before. That was pretty cool. Says here that the Biden administration wants to block the sun. I told y'all three years ago, two years ago, one year ago. And I'm telling you now, there is an evil on this planet that cannot handle the ascension of the Earth's vibration. And the sun that's shining down on us 
is repairing our DNA, okay? Because just like the days of Noah, the DNA has been tampered with again, okay? Many of y'all listened to Fauci and Gates. You should not have listened. You do not mess with the most high's DNA, okay? You can keep following these jokers if you want to, but I'm telling you right now, You've been you must awaken. In the dream world. You must speak up because it is key for the survival of humanity. Because these people are not doing this on their own consciousness. They're led by an evil entity that has brainwashed them. Many celebrities have reacted to the news of the Epstein list being released. First up was The Rock who said, I'm absolutely disgusted to read all of this. Nothing can be done to repair all the damage that has been done, but I hope the victims get justice and anyone who is an abuser rots away in jail. Next was Travis Kelsey who said, Pure filth. I pray for justice and I hope they truly get what they deserve for the disgusting things they've done and are not granted help due to their influence and wealth. Next, Will Smith said, How could these complete animals do this? And they thought they could get away with that. Next up was Britney Spears who said, All these crazy people make me sick. Up next is Johnny Depp who said, I just hope justice is brought to everyone who deserves it. Next, Oprah commented underneath a quote on Instagram on the same day as the Epstein list was released. The quote said, Justice will prevail. Oprah commented underneath this saying, it always does. Next, Cardi B said, I keep telling everyone, Hollywood a messed up place and people are truly disgusting. Next was Donald Trump who said, didn't I warn everyone about fake news? Trump's comment is in reference to it being revealed that he never went to Epstein's island or had any doings with him, despite many people accusing him of that over the years. And finally, supermodel Naomi Campbell previously gave a statement where she spoke about getting accusations of being tied to Jeffrey Epstein and bared all in her comment. This is a direct character assassination. I've always said that I'm not a saint, that I am a work in progress, but I will not be held hostage by my past. What he's done is indefensible. And when I heard of what he'd done, it sickened me to my stomach just like everybody else. Because I've had my fair share of sexual predators, and thank God that I had good people around me that protected me from this. I mean, right now I stand with the victims it's, I can't, you know, they're scarred for life. For life. I've rubbed shoulders with um, hundreds of, or hundreds of thousands of people. The frightening conclusion here is that if the negative action of your neighbor, colleague, or even an associate can somehow make you guilty too, simply by association, then we indeed live in very worrying times. This affects us all. It is wrong, it's unfair, and it must be stopped. This story keeps getting bigger and bigger. Most people are surprised that only a handful of celebrities have spoken up on this instead of all of them. A lot of fans say that every person in Hollywood should speak up on this to raise even more awareness. For this video's comment question, should more celebrities speak up on this? Why do you think they're not? Before you go, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for daily news updates on your favorite celebs. Not really sure why they're not. The truth is gonna get out eventually. Like, they can't keep it there forever. ...in Jonesboro, where overnight, Clayton County Police rescued a boy who had been missing for nearly four years. Police tell us that he was kept behind a false wall inside this mm. house on Duke Court. He was reunited with his mother earlier this morning. She had to travel from out of state to be reunited with him. Neighbors around here are telling me that they saw the young man out here all the time. He was always doing yard work. One said he recently saw the boy on top of the roof sweeping off some of the debris, but they were told the boy was homeschooled, so they didn't think anything of it. They were shocked when they found out that he was missing for almost four years. Mm, that is wild. I'm glad that he's back home, but that is wild. What? Guilty. This morning, a guilty verdict in the case of a man charged with fatally shooting a young woman after the car she was riding in accidentally turned into his driveway. Kaylin deserves to have her story told of what a beautiful person she was. 
And how many people loved her? Last year, 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis was with her friends, driving in two cars and a motorcycle, looking for another friend's house late at night in rural upstate New York. She was the passenger in one of the cars that mistakenly drove up Kevin Monahan's driveway. His lawyer says Monahan felt threatened by the group and fired a warning shot in the air, but then stumbled and tripped, accidentally shooting another round that hit Gillis. The photo from the prosecution from the police wasn't clear enough to show you the area where he stumbled and fell. But you know this can happen. But it took the jury less than two hours to find Monaghan guilty of second degree murder, reckless endangerment, and tampering with physical evidence. Gillis's family did not speak publicly after the verdict, but previously said she was a victim of circumstance, just trying to visit her friend who lived only a half mile down the road. My daughter was a, an honor student. She had hopes and dreams of becoming. She had hopes and dreams of becoming a marine biologist or a veterinarian. And this man took that away from us. Kevin Monahan, who is 66, will be sentenced in March and could face 25 years to life in prison. Yo, that's messed up. Accidents do happen, right? But it just. I don't know, man. That don't doesn't seem like it was an accident. That's really sad. Leave the people and how the Constitution starts. A magistrate is a person that operates under authority. They have power. There are higher magistrates and there are lesser magistrates. The founding fathers of this country understood that there's going to come a point in time where the federal government will need to be checked. If not, okay. they will become tyrants. And that is what's happening now. So, the Declaration of Independence says that everyone, by virtue of being a human being, has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The federal government, too, the federal government, their purpose is to protect the rights of those citizens, the rights of us to our life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. The third point of that document is if they fail to protect its citizens and enforce those rights, the citizens have a right to revolt. We have a right to resist, and we have an obligation and a duty to do so. I have nothing to disagree or nothing to say that disagrees with anything that woman just said. A powerful words right there. Oh, you mean like this? Is that what you're referring to? All the way around? Lining up with the latitudes? Just like the compass? 
because there's only one fixed direction to the center source of the magnetic field created by the, you know, the source magnet, the point charge, whatever you want to call it. Strange how the uh, equator lines up too, huh? Weird. Very strange. Looks like I have the exact same thing that you said I wasn't doing happening on the screen. Weird. Very strange. Strange coincidence. Oh, wait a second. My compass seems to be pointing in one direction. Like it always does. The bar magnet attracts iron at both sides because it's two different magnet fields. Orientational polarizability. One fixed direction. Well, all righty. That, that artist, Lil RT. You know Lil RT? Where's he, where's he based out of? He like nine years old. He rapping. Mm. And he doing, he's like a gangster rapper, nine years old. Yeah, and like I on think, that uh, Take K way. Take yeah, but he, you, you ain't heard that song he got going viral called 60 Miles? Come on, come on, Jet. He gonna be, if he make it past. 18 years old, I'd be surprised. Because here's what y'all is not acknowledging about this. He's still young. You see, we can clown somebody like Drake and be like, bro, why do you want to be a gangster and you rich already? When we say, hey yo, why you want to be a gangster and you rich? You too, like you supposed to be trying to get out of that. But the thing about him being nine years old, famous, and making gangster rap at nine years old, he got a long way to go. You can't tell, you can't call him dumb for being rich and being successful and still wanting to be a gangster and be thugging at 13 years old. He ain't even made 13 years old yet. So he gonna still wanna be part of the clique, part of his friends, doing what they do. And y'all enabling him. So you know what's gonna happen? He gonna be so famous at 12 years old thugging and somebody gonna catch him. Cause you can't tell him nothing. He's a child. So you can tell you can tell a 22 year old like bro you tripping bro like you gotta get out the streets bro you rich like you gotta get out the streets bro you can't be thugging at, at 22 bro you gotta get out the streets bro you gonna pass away you gonna die you not gonna live you gotta take care of your kids you gotta take care of your family you gotta leave the streets you can't tell that to a nine year old boy mm-mm you can't let this happen to the kids, man. We got to take better care of the kids. We can't let this happen, man. Shit. That's I wild. I've never seen that before. It's happening. We saw these all over Washington. Now, some of these other people said to me, but we all saw the same thing all around town. Check it out.
ain't no mm. fucking game. Follow to see more. I couldn't tell if those were CGI or not, but they they they're so low quality. It's like, why wouldn't it be CGI? You know. I really don't think I'm ever gonna be able to escape this shit. Listen to it. Listen to that pedal. Jesus. I mean, this is my whole closet right here. This is my kitchen. Okay, so it seems to be wanting to happen now more in the afternoon. But just to prove that there's nothing up there. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. And here we go with this shit again. I'm just gonna wait and see how long it goes. It's never not. Stop! No, okay. no, 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 no. Works. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. That's scary, man. I don't know why he's still there. He's just there. It's happening in the afternoon and everything. Like, nah, man. I'd be out. All right, so I got one more for you. What are examples of demonic rappers? You know, upside down cross. Um, you know. The blood. This person, I don't, I don't even know what to call it anymore. I don't know what it is, you know what I'm saying? This is a demonic, another demonic rapper, another demonic artist. Who, I don't know what the fuck happened. They probably MK Ultra'd her. Um, oh, she, she calls herself a devil now. So, this is what's being fed. Like her recent popular song, oh, she a devil. This is what they're feeding to the youth. All these little girls, all these little boys. Oh, she a devil. Like, do you know what the fuck devil means? If you don't know, that was ASAP Rocky doing an initiation. This is demonic as fuck. Don't even get me started on this on this motherfucker. Come on. Don't even get me started on just about all of them, though. Anyways. That's another video in the archives. I hope you guys had a great time hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it may be for you. Do me a favor, hit that like and hit that subscribe and leave me a few comments down below. Help us boost the community, get us going the way we need to be. Anyways, appreciate you guys for stopping through. Take care. Peace.